If you are planning to travel to see loved ones over the Thanksgiving holiday, expect to have a lot of company. Millions of people will be leaving home this year, and holiday travel is expected to be just shy of pre pandemic levels. Eyewitness News reporter Ryan Hughes is live at 30th Street Station, where people are trying to beat the rush. It looks pretty busy there, Ryan. It is just Kanuki. It has been a very busy day here at the train station and also over at Philadelphia International Airport. Everyone seems to have the same idea. They are trying to leave early before Thanksgiving. And now that a lot of people have the flexibility of working remotely, they are extending that trip. I didn't want to be traveling at any point next week. It's going to be crazy. Tiffany Hamilton and her three year old daughter Ryan snake through security at Philly International Friday. They're headed to New Orleans to visit her mom and siblings for Thanksgiving. Tiffany, like many other people, were hoping to beat the large crowds. I don't want to be stuck at an airport with a toddler. <laughs> so, yeah, we're just trying to get out here early. Many travelers inside 30th Street Station had the same idea. The holiday rushes on, and AAA says nearly 55 million Americans will travel for the long holiday weekend, numbers we haven't seen since before the pandemic. Philly International is expecting the busiest days will be next Tuesday through Sunday, but Thanksgiving travel appears to be changing from years past. So we do see people beating that traditional rush, and that's why the travel period has extended a little bit more for us. So we're here a little bit early, but extending our travels to visit family. Christine Kendra and Rich Carlton flew in early from Florida for a wedding in Long Beach Island, but they also work remotely. So their trip home to see family in Doylestown and Princeton for Thanksgiving is starting early. I don't think we'd be able to swing it if we weren't both remote. Yeah. yeah. We'd probably have to take all the time off, which is a little annoying. So it's nice to be able to work, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then just be at home already. And that couple tells me they actually only booked a one way flight with the flexibility of being able to work from home. They're going to wait a few days after Thanksgiving to fly back to Florida. So they're looking to beat the rush. Coming and going this holiday season. We are live tonight inside 30th Street Station. Ryan Hughes, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.